Hello, this is Ileana Douglas, and you are watching Trailers from Hell. Get this, we're going to talk about a war movie. Yes, girls sometimes like and watch war movies. If they are like this, The Bridges of Tokori, a different type of war movie. Bridges of Tokori, just even the title, it was one of those films used to be on TV all the time when I was a kid, but I never bothered watching it because I thought, eh, it's a war movie. I don't like war movies. And then I finally sat down this year to watch it. Imprint has just released a DVD, which I highly recommend. Beautiful transfer, shot on location aboard a Navy carrier. There's locations in Japan. Great commentary by Navy man, film scholar, Alan Rohde. I discovered I really think this is an overlooked epic. Not only is it an action-packed drama based on James Michener's novel about the often overlooked Korean War, but it is a profoundly moving anti-war statement, very well directed by Mark Robeson and starring William Holden. The Navy assisted Robeson with shooting all of the flight scenes, supplying planes, utilizing their ships and naval bases in Yokosuka, for which the film did garner a Special Effects Academy Award. Now, what the film makes clear is Brubaker does not want to be here. He served in World War II, but he questions why he was called up again. He also openly questions the futility of the Korean conflict. Admiral Tarrant tries to reason with him. He's lost both of his sons in World War II. He sees military service as noble, even in death. And what is so impactful for me about The Bridges of Tokori is that, yeah, there are a lot of movies about war, but there are very few movies about war starring men whose names we don't know. You know, these were the solitary men, men that bravely fought and they served with dignity, but they were not able to come home. And I think The Bridges of Tokori powerfully expresses that message. I hope you take a look. <music> Bridges of Togori might be overlooked because it came out one year after Stalag 17, where Holden had won an Academy Award playing a cynical World War II POW. Two years later, Holden starred as another cocky POW in The Bridge of the River Kwai, sweeping the Oscars. This movie comes in between those two films. Holden displays a remarkable vulnerability as a Navy pilot suffering from severe anxiety and battle fatigue. His name is Harry Brubaker. He is stationed on an aircraft carrier in the Sea of Japan during the Korean War. After many missions and a crash, which has nearly cost him his life, he is desperate to return to his civilian life with his wife, Nancy, played by Grace Kelly, before he has a nervous breakdown. Brubaker reluctantly agrees to fly a dangerous mission with fellow crew members, the hot-headed Irishman Forney, played by Mickey Rooney, just terrific, and gruff by the book commander Lee, played by Charles McGraw, assigned to them by Admiral Tarrant, Frederick March. And to deal with his nerves of accepting this assignment, Brubaker begins drinking. There is a harrowing scene where he actually contemplates jumping overboard to avoid flying after writing a goodbye letter to his wife. And though the mission to destroy the bridges at Tokori Village succeeds, Brubaker's plane fails, he is shot down, and he crashes. Another frightening action sequence occurs as Forney desperately tries to rescue him. He is killed. It's so shocking having Mickey Rooney killed in a movie. In the powerful ending, Brubaker, he's now alone. He is completely alone, fighting off the enemy with his gun. Where do we get such men? Asks Admiral Tarrant when he later hears of Brubaker's death. 